Hello everybody, we've gone back in time. You'll be watching this uh, during the lunch break, but welcome to the paddock. Bit of a different view, because um, I'm still very conscious that last time we were down here was for Bookmore Park 24 hour. Thank you very much if you returned from uh, that fantastic event. This is the other side of Bookmore Park that you won't have seen during the 24 hour, but it's where during a Club 100 event, all the drivers hang out, all the team hang out, and uh, basically where everything happens. John's here with me. Good we're going to do this bit in the lunch hour, but we've already seen it. Can you predict how good the uh, cadets and lightweight juniors that we've already seen are going to be? Well, I've already seen it, so I know it's going to be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think it's actually going to be really good racing. I think this is the most excited I've been to be doing comms in a while, to be honest, because of a brand new series for 2022, or two brand new series for 2022. And yeah, it should be some great racing, I think. Really should be indeed. Um, so as we've probably already explained, today's round one for the cadets. They've undergone some academy training days, test days, a few practice races. Uh, for the juniors, it's their second round of the season. Obviously, they, they raced at Bayford Meadows uh, for round number one. You can hear in the background, you may be able to hear in the background, John Viger giving his very important driver's briefing. Very important one, of course, with it being the first round of the year for all the drivers. But great to see a huge, huge pack of uh, drivers, parents, guardians, all around. And uh, we're going to spend the next half an hour or so to 40 minutes. It's having a bit of a, a peruse around the area. I'm going to go and grab someone straight away, if he doesn't mind. Mr. Dan Underhill. Yes, this is happening. Uh, Dan, you're, working, you're in a work capacity today. Yep. We'll start with that as your role of one of the Club 100 team, because we don't often get to say this on a sprint today because it's all mad. What happens? What's what's your role for the day? My role for the day is uh, observing and also helping control the starts. So I'll be dumped at the top of the track and I'll be helping to keep the drivers nice and slow and uh, controlling the starts and then observing the rest of the race and calling any penalties that needed to call and, and stuff like that. And also, your lad's racing today. How's that feel? A little bit nervous, to be honest. This is his first ever race. Um, I think he's got the pace to get in the A final, so I'm hoping that'll be that's his target really today, just get in the A final and see what happens from there. Any kind of training that's been going on ahead of today? Uh, he's got his own car, he's got a little Honda Cadet and he's done the Academy Days and he's also done the Wiltermill Juniors, which is like run by Dan Patterson and uh, his family and it's a really good setup they have there. And he's, he's gone through the ranks in that, so he's, he's, he should be ready. Should be ready, hopefully. So. Good, good stuff. And PLD, fantastic yeah. uh, effort a few weeks ago that we had on the Alpha Live cameras. Uh, you must have been really pleased about that. Yes, really pleased. Uh, the, the final definitely kicked off, as it always, it always does. But the, yeah, we raised five thousand three hundred pound in the end, um, which is really good. Really, it's our it's our record amount over the ten years we've been doing it. So yeah, thanks to everybody that came along and watched as well. So. We're going to do another one next year. I think so. I think so. I just need to figure out where and when and all that sort of stuff, but. I was considering here, so if anyone's got any any ideas, if you want to come here or elsewhere, just pop me a message on Facebook and yeah, we can go from there really. Really good stuff. Cheers Dan, thanks for chatting with us. Uh, Dan Underhill there uh, in two capacities today, not only as one of uh, the staff here making sure that the event runs smoothly, uh, but also as one of our parents um, with their child racing today. JV's briefing still going on. Very lengthy, very detailed. Um, whilst that's going on, John, from your experience of racing here at Bookmore Park in a Club 100 circuit, what, what are those key, key points that you remember? The whole track here is, is a difficult one. It's, it really wears on your body, especially after 15, 20, 25 minutes of racing, you're really starting to feel it. But I think the most tough section of corners is, I always forget the names, but this downhill right-hand section into the fast left is really difficult to hook it up. If you get it right, you've got it and it feels so good. But if you get it slightly wrong, you go offline, you get all slidey and you lose maybe even half a second to a second. And then as soon as that happens, all the carts are going to be flying past you. So I think that's the corner that they need to focus on today. Absolutely. Let's have actually go and have a little look further into the paddock. Uh, I have to do my Martin Brundle bit now and wrestle my way through the pack. We'll go and have a look at some of the new cars. You alright there Luke? Because of course this is the first time that we've seen in competitive, in anger, uh, the new cadets ca cadet carts. So here they are, these are the new cadet carts, smaller micro uh, Rotax Max engine on them. And they look a little bit different to uh, the main Club 100 carts, which are behind and to, our, to my right here. 
Uh, in fact, yes, there's one here. Fantastic. <laughs> this is the great thing about the Club 100 staff. They've, they've put two side by side uh, for us to compare between the two. So it's a lighter cart. It's obviously a, built for a much smaller person than me, so I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to get into one. John will. He's just, he's just, well, you've just volunteered for that, mate. You might want to take that seat insert out. <laughs> I don't need one of those in the main one. This is pure, pure content, and there we go. That's what happens when a grown man tries to get into one of our cadet carts. Pedals are adjustable. So as I say, there's lots of things that the drivers can change to get themselves a bit more comfortable than John is right now. Like he couldn't race like this, no. Get out, you look ridiculous. Um, but yeah, in fact, let's look at the main Club 100 cart as well, because again, we don't normally get to do this on a sprint day. This is the same, these are the same carts that we have running in the senior competitions. Uh, so one that I have experienced and I can talk you through. So uh, starter up at the top here, pedals, as we say, adjustable. And uh, you definitely want to check over the cart, make sure that everything's okay when you start. The Rotax Max engine, as I say, uh, tuned and taken care of by the team down at Robinson Sport. Do a fantastic job there. Um, so yeah, really enjoyable to drive. Great level of performance uh, compared to maybe some of your other arrive and drive activities uh, that you can go. Driver's briefing is over. So you can see there's now a hub of activity and our cadets will be going out first. Uh, there's a gentleman in particular that I want to grab a hold of if uh, if I can okay, fight my way through. The at the very front that are turned sideways. I just had the sight of him and now he's gone. The hill. That is the first cart. So whoever's first... Where has Mr Chambers gone? That's the number one cart. Thank you. Just step over the top. Let's have, let's have a go, have a chat with John. Just whilst things are getting ready. Great atmosphere in this paddock, I've got to say. It, it really is. I think there's a lot of drivers, a lot of teams that are ready to go, ready to get racing. They've done a lot of preparation for this. And I'm going to grab a driver. Driver. Oh, no, indeed. This is the moment. What's your name? Where are you from? Charlie Humphreys. I'm from Royston. Ready for racing today? Excited? Yeah, definitely. Um, See how it goes, really. Have you got any experience of this Bookmore Park circuit before? I've been here a few times, but it was only in cadets, and it was a few years ago. What do you think are going to be the the biggest challenges here today? Okay, right. Um, so I understand that the first. Don't know. See what happens. Is actually a junior car. Good stuff. Well, best of luck, Charlie. So have a have a good um, run out so there. Sorry, everybody, for confusing you there. So the first we'll go car down is towards the, car the front. Forward. We'll grab so another right. driver. We'll grab this young man here for a quick interview. What's your name and where do you come from? Wyatt McAllister and I'm from Surrey, Beacon Hill. Good stuff. And uh, is this your first race today or have you raced before? I've raced before. What have you raced before? Um, I've done some yeah, open car and races and a championship at Daytona Sandown Park. Good stuff. This, uh, these new carts, have, uh, have you had some of the academy days in them? Yeah, I've done both academy days. And how did you enjoy them? They were very good, yeah. Very good stuff indeed. And what, uh, what are you thinking today? What, what would you like to achieve? I would like to get top three, yeah. My brother's doing super one and he's yeah. done well so far, so I'd like to get first place. And is, your bro is your brother called Logan by any yes. chance? Yes. yes. No, good stuff. Well, well done, Wayne. Yes, we uh, we commentate on Logan having a very good season in Honda Cadet in Super One, uh, which you will be able to see in, let me get this right, two weekends' time down at Clay Pigeon, live on Alpha Live. Uh, here's the main man. I'm, he's it's just a little bit busy, so I'm not going to jump in straight away. But Hugh Chambers, uh, Chief Exec of Motorsport UK, is in dad mode at the moment, so I'll just let him deal with that before these drivers go out on circuit. Fantastic to see all these drivers ready to go. I also want to try and catch uh, Elliot Timolo, if we can. In fact, 
Let's have a very quick try. We've got a, we've got a young Sebastian Vettel here. What's your name and where'd you come from? Um, Timmy. And I am, um, do I say the country or something? Yeah. yeah, I'm from the UK. You're wearing a very nice lid. Uh, are you a big Sebastian Vettel fan? Uh, not really. Yes, I am. I used to be his fan, but now I'm just a Max Verstappen fan. I didn't quite catch it. Who's your favourite driver now? Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. And uh, how are you feeling ahead of going out on this Buckmore Park circuit? Uh, quite nervous, but um, I'm going to try and deliver the best I can for today and see if I can um, get probably on the podium. Good stuff. Well, best of luck to me. As I say, one of our young drivers going out in the, uh, in the cadets. I've lost Mr. Chambers. Oh, no, I haven't lost Mr. Chambers. Very quickly. Sam. Hello. How are you feeling? Elliot's uh, first time in the cadets here today. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll drive around. He'll do his thing. Hopefully not putting the wall too much, but he'll be all right. He's in group two, though, so not group one. You shouldn't view him. How's, uh, how's the day running so far behind the scenes? Oh, so far, so good. I mean, we haven't actually officially started on track, so <laughs> we'll find out. But I reckon they'll be all right. If it's anything like the other sessions, then they should be good. And uh, obviously you, you raced when you were this age as well. What tips have been given Elliot ahead of today? I actually didn't race in cadets. I didn't even do juniors. I started Fair juniors. Enough. But I just told him to keep on the track. Basically, just keep on the track because if you stay on track, you ain't going to go backwards, really. So. Good stuff. Well, we'll catch you in a bit, Sam. Uh, I've lost Mr. Chambers again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, there, there he is. You can see he was just setting up the cart here. All the drivers have their own transponder, uh, which they need to take care of and number plates as well. So across the course of the day, they won't necessarily have the same cart. Um, they will rotate round and effectively have a, a lucky draw as to, uh, as to which cart they get. But all of the carts tested, prepared to the same specification. Um, subtle differences between them, like I say, from experience, but that's part of the challenge of being a Club 100 driver that is that you can't just go, oh, I don't like this car, this slow, give me a new one. You've got to be able to drive the cart and what's underneath and get the performance out because they're all tested. And in terms of lap time, they're all within a tolerance. I'm going to step in. So you can just see Okay, Hugh getting his son ready. No, relax, cadets, because we are not going to be going until... Hugh, can I get a, a quick word from you? Um, so welcome back to Buckmore Park. This must be a pretty special day for you. Yeah, it's fantastic to see Soren racing today. First time he's ever raced. Um, a rookie this season. And in cadets, I think Club 100 have done an amazing job to allow young kids like this just to arrive and drive in really top flight machinery really exciting how important is it in in your role at motorsport uk to see you know this new initiative a way of getting new drivers new people into the sport on a on a budget i, I think it's really fulfilled my ambition of a bridge between indoor karting and full-blown equipment which you own yourself and going and racing all the way up to the british kart championship and i think everything that john viger and club 100 have done with getting this category in as, as cadet racing is incredibly important for motorsport in this country. Good stuff. Soren, is he in, he's in race mode. <laughs> Soren, how are you feeling ahead of going out on circuit? Um, I, I, th I, th I, think, I think that um, I might be successful, but we don't know yet. So I, I want to see my results soon. Have you driven this circuit before? No, never. Have you had a quick walk around or a watch of any videos before coming down here? Um, yes, we had a track walk. Good stuff. Well, you've got good conditions for it. Just watch it coming down the hill here. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Cheers, you. Thanks for, thanks for talking to us. You and Simon Chambers there. Uh, let's go further down the front. I say this first group will go out for their uh, first practice session ahead of their racing here today. Uh, and then get underway. Let's have a chat with some more drivers. Let's go right to the front. We've got a very... Oh, I like this helmet. I'll be able to spot this on the on the stream. Hello, young sir. What's your name and where do you come from? Um, my name is Luca. I, I, come f I was born in Scotland. I moved to Newcastle and I can speak Russian and English. My goodness, we've got a multilingual driver here on uh, on the grid. Uh, are you excited ahead of uh, of the race today? You're on the you're going to be the first cart out on circuit. 
Yeah. And uh, what have you been doing to get ready for, for the event here today? Um, like yesterday, I practiced here for the test session. Um, before, a couple of weeks ago, I went to one of my local races. And is this like your first big competitive race or have you raced elsewhere before in, in big groups? Uh, this is like my proper like um, professional championship, but I've raced in other um, groups. Good stuff. Well, best of luck, Luca. Hope you have a, a good time out there in the number 11 cart. Uh, let's talk to another driver here in a very, very nice looking cosmic suit. What's your name and where'd you come from? Um, my name's Antony Czarnecki and I come from Poland. All the way from Poland. Uh, what's brought you here to Club 100 today? Um, well, it's well, about the experience. I want to try. We've had a couple of the Academy days. Have you taken part in those? Yes, I have. And how did you find them? Pretty fun. And have you driven this circuit before? Never. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, again, best of luck. Have a, have a good day of it. Let's go for another driver here, cart number 21. Cart number 21, what's your name and where'd you come from? Uh, I'm Solomon and my mom is from Slovakia and my dad's from Nigeria. So, yeah. And uh, are you looking forward to the race here today? Yeah. I, I think it's going to be really fun um, and hopefully I can win. We've got really good weather uh, for today. Are you are you ready? Have you tri tried this circuit out before? Yeah, I went to the practice yesterday, so I have an advantage. And what was uh, what was your favourite bit of the circuit from yesterday's practice? Uh, probably the long straight where you turn in the S. Yeah, absolutely coming out of Herbin too. Well, best of luck. Hope uh, hope you have a good a good day out there. Uh, let's try and catch some of our drivers who are in group two um i also want to try and catch jv for a second but uh i think he's in fact i'll tell you someone that i will have a quick chat to he's maybe not quite as nervous I'm just gonna grab dante for a second because dante is our test driver for uh cadets dante dylan uh in a different role today not racing in sprints or bukc but in test driver you've done a, a good amount of mileage in these new cadet carts beforehand tell us a little bit about them yeah so in comparison to the senior carts the most impressive thing about these new cadet carts is uh, the handling the handling is way better on the cadet carts um, and also the speed of them are pretty good as well like yesterday they're only like two seconds off uh, so for cadet carts they're brilliant and the kids are going to love them and in your role as test driver for, for the folks at home because we, we don't often get to see this behind the scenes stuff on a club 100 uh, club 100 stream what what's your main focus what are you looking at in terms of, of performance of the carts yeah, well exactly what you've just said so the performance in terms of straight line speed the handling of the cart uh, going off what the customer has said about the cart if someone pulls a the cart uh, then have to go out and test it see where if what they're saying is true uh, and then tell the mechanics what the problem is uh, get it fixed up get it back in the line uh, to carry on with the day that's basically how it goes good stuff well uh, keep working hard dante we'll catch up with you in a bit i say dante dylan uh, having a very very good season in the seniors uh, in the sprints is that gate open yes that gate is open we can sneak round the back john how are you feeling this it's a good feeling in this paddock it's brilliant isn't it i'm loving seeing all the excitement from the kids raring to go out for their first sessions but i reckon we've spoken to enough kids now should we go and speak to some parents let's go speak to some parents let's let's go to the oh yes i like that idea let's let's have a little wander up there uh what's the best way to navigate our way through because we don't want Mr. Austin stacking it. There were, there, were, there were lots of kids as you walked past that went, oh, I didn't get an interview, thank goodness. I didn't want to be on camera. So uh, you spared some of them today, mate. For today, we'll get them later in the season. Uh, here's another view that you don't often get uh, here at Bookmore Park. Get the, get the legs working. <laughs> I wasn't told I was doing. I was doing a, 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 a exercise session here today, but there we go. Um, one of the really unique things about this Bookmore Park circuit is the little grandstand that we have up here at the top of the hill. Oh dear! Can you tell that I've not been in the carts for a while? GYG a couple of weeks ago nearly killed me. Uh, but we'll have a little look over. 
and have a chat to some people as well. We'll surprise them. Coming from behind, they don't know I'm here. Um, really good for endurance race, this, this layout. And look at this, we've got a lot of people up here in the Grand Scand. Let me just recatch my breath, because I'm a fat old northern man. The circuit, different view of it. So obviously you come over the top here, race control to our right there is where the circuit starts. Conway's and Henry's bends turn one and two, then the two hairpins, more your classic kind of style of, of karting circuit, point squirt and brake hard to get the moves done. Then you get a very different kind of circuit, the S's as we, we were talking about earlier, and it's all about carrying the speed as you come down the hill here into Paddock. Paddock Corner being the corner we saw on the Bookmore Park 24 hour of course, where Mr Broadbent had a bit of a bump, so you want to be careful through there, up the hill. Uh, through Garda and the hill chicane, through the centre chicane. As I say, very much a circuit of two halves. Who am I going to spring on? Who, who am I, we're going to have a chat with a driver across. He's got a rocket shirt here. It's your big moment. What's your name and where are you from? Matt Cooper from just down the road in Kent. And racing in the juniors today, excited for it? Yeah. Yeah, home circuit, so should be good. In terms of racing that you've done before, what's, what's your history? Um, yeah, I did last season, Club 100, which was good. A lot more people this series, so it's exciting. And in terms of, of going forward, what's uh, what's your main hope for this season in Club 100? Uh, try and get a couple wins, a couple podiums, main aim. Could go for championship, but a bit of a stretch. Weather conditions pretty good today. Excited to head out there on this Bookmore Park circuit? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, not too bad for racing, so yeah. Good stuff. Right, we're going to spring on the next driver. He's smiling away. And uh, let's go around and have a chat with another young driver here. What's your name? Where'd you come from? And how old are you? Um, I'm Milo Pittingale, 10 years old, and I'm from Crawley. So we know you because your dad's a very key part of this operation. What does he do? Uh, oh, he, he works at BMW and he comes here as like a hobby. He just works for the um, Club 100. He just uh, um, he he goes to almost everyone, even the ones in Wales and Scotland and stuff. How uh, he got? I think he got into it because um, when he when he used to race for England and how he won and how he was a three-time Easy Kart champion. Uh, I don't know like, how he got into it at the first start, but I don't know. Uh, Good stuff. I say Barnaby Pittengale are one of the, the key members of the team here at, at Club 100. How's practice, how's preparations for today gone? Not very well. I was like not very good yesterday. I doubt that. I think yeah, I think you're going to be very, very fast. Um, I really liked your, your driver response, say that your dad is your favourite driver. Yeah. Is that is that true? Did you write that or did Barnaby write that? Uh, well, I, I read it. <laughs> oh. Well, it was with my granddad because he used to cart as well, and that, I think that's how it. Well, my dad also got into it. Good stuff. Well, well done, Milo. I'm sure you'll be very, very quick later on. I'm going to spring on some parents. Parents, are, parents are not wanted to look at me. Just sit down here. What's your name? Where'd you come from? And and who have we got over here? We've got Peter. Who have we got here? Hello. We've got Edward, and we're coming from uh, Sambury. Sambury. What's brought you to Club 100 today? Um, well, Edward loves racing and it's so well organised and it's just a nice event, so... Has Edward done some racing before? He did, yes. Um, I think last week he did his last practice, um, preparing for today, and Grandpa Peter took him around to prepare him for the racing, Yeah, so. it's the whole family here, so granddad, grandson, first race out, very excited. What? He's doing a great job, it's fantastic, isn't it? Very exciting here today. What about Club 100 in particular over other series that you thought this is where you wanted to be? It's just so well organised. The cart quality is great. The performance is very equal between the carts and um, value for money. Because if you're going to enter a, a junior championship, it, it needs thousands of, of pounds to do that. And uh, JV and the team here do, just do a fantastic job all the way through. So perfect starting place for junior British motorsport. Good stuff. I wholeheartedly agree as a, as a senior myself. Thank you very much for talking to us, guys. Um, that is the big ethos of this championship in particular. Uh, who, who do I want to spring on next? Let's, let's, have a, let's have a little wander up here. Come on. Oh, no, indeed. Um, 
Driver, what's your name and where did you come from? Arthur Way and from Reading. From Reading. Is this your first time in Club 100 today? No, I've done a practice session at Shennington, but this is my first race. My first race. How was Shennington as a circuit? Uh, it's a good, fun circuit to learn and get better at. Good stuff. I like Shennington because it's 10 minutes from my house. Mum, are we nervous ahead of today? Uh, yeah, although you've been doing a lot of practicing in your own cart, haven't you? So, yeah, he's been enjoying it. Yeah. And what is it about Club 100 that's that's attracted you here today? Um, well, it was ad advertised very well at the BIKC, uh, which Arthur participated in at the end of last year. And um, he, as always, he's known famous drivers have done it in the past. So, yeah, it was something that he really wanted to do. Good stuff. Dad, I'm looking at the helmet. It's a Red Bull logo on the top. Have we got a Max Verstappen fan here or somebody else? No, he is a Max Verstappen fan um, and he likes Checo as well. So, yeah, Red Bull all the way. <laughs> good stuff. And they're having a good season so far. Do you hope to inspire young son here? Yeah, I think that's where he ultimately wants to go, isn't it? I mean, that's where they all dream of going. But, um, you know, any sort of racing, really, rally driving, he's, he watches it all. So, uh, yeah, it's just Red Bull stands out in most of those now, doesn't it? <laughs> Indeed, I like that. It's a fan of multiple uh, forms of motorsport, not just Formula One. Thanks, guys. Thanks for talking to us. Oh, steady. We nearly lost Luke there. Um, I think with that, we'll, we'll, we'll head back down. We'll head back down and uh, try and catch some more drivers down there. And John Viger as well, because we've not talked to John yet. This is a bit of the walk involving the grandstand that I do like, downhill. And... Uh, I'll head on back down. Uh, as I say, we've talked about the weather a little bit. We like doing that because we're English and we're British and all that business. But this is pretty much perfect conditions uh, for Bo uh, for Bookmore Park here today. Very physical circuit. Um, as I can say that from experience, you don't want it to be too warm. So high teens, low twenties. Dry, of course. Everybody prefers the dry over the wet conditions. Um, but that's uh, it's a it's a good day to be coming and racing here at Bookmore Park. Steady Luke, there's another step there. Uh, let's head back on in and try and find... We've talked to the main man from Motorsport UK. We want to talk to the main man from Club 100. So I say, we don't, we don't often get to do this on a live stream. It's often a very fast-packed day. I've, I've locked eyes onto JV. Let's see if he's up for having a chat with us and see what he's got to say. As I say, a, a huge amount of work has gone into this today. I'm coming, I'm coming for you. Hello, JV Hi. is finally here, it's the day. You yes. must be very proud of the whole yes. team, first day of the Cadet Championship. I am super excited about this first round, definitely. It's what I've been longing for and wanting for a number of years now. And uh, yeah, we've got here, we've had a couple of great academy days. The kids are terrific. The driving is excellent. Obviously now we're going into racing. So, um, you know, it's all to see, but uh, the best venue to do it at is Buckmore Park. Uh, it's a terrific circuit. We had some testing yesterday actually, and uh, all went really well. The cadets were excellent going round. Uh, those that were made it yesterday. So yeah, it's, uh, looking forward to it. I think what I'm, I'm liking around the paddock is just how much the drivers are smiling. I don't know the kids, but they're a lot smilier than us seniors. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. And that's what I would try and keep. Yeah, so it's all about nurturing them and keeping them smiling as they go through cadet, junior and senior. So hopefully I can keep some of these drivers for some years. And, and that's the big thing of, of this series. It's, it's not just a start for cadets here today. It's very much looking at, at drivers in the karting pathway as part of, we were talking to Hugh earlier about the initiatives in Motorsport UK. How do you see in, in the long term this, this championship progressing? Well, fingers crossed we can grow it. Um, you know, the, 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 once this stream goes out today, you know, so, I mean, straight away. I mean, it wasn't until the first academy that we got some still shots from John, our great photographer. Obviously, we've got the stream out there now, which we can get on our, our, our website going forward and uh, obviously share it around it, it, the globe, if you like. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully then the awareness will grow from there and it'll become more popular. And obviously our junior championship this year, we've doubled the entry on that compared to last year. And it's pretty much sold out for the year so yeah at the moment we're in a good place and uh, you know myself and Will are already talking about you know looking to expand next year the cadet and juniors 
How happy are you to see, as you say, we've been looking through some of the all new drivers to us here on Alpha Live, but some of the names still familiar that, you know, you, you've got sons, you've got daughters of people who've raced with you for, for years. How happy are you to see that? Oh, fantastic. It's great. Yeah, just, just I mean, I knew that was coming. Um, and yeah, just to see them, you know, obviously they know the Club 100 products. They have always been happy with the Club 100 products. So where are they going to choose to race their kid? Club 100. And here we are with the cadet. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Cheers, John. He's got to go. He's a busy man. We've taken too much of his time already. But that, that really is a key thing about this championship. I'm not speaking to someone who has kids, but I, I can see the appeal that if you've raced in this for many, many years as a senior, you know, you've got that trust. You know the environment. You know the races are going to be officiated properly. You know the carts are going to be prepared properly. Um, a huge amount of man hours put into preparing uh, these carts and making sure every one of them is not just running to a performance spec but running safely uh, as well so a big big appeal I'm going to try and grab Barnaby don't run away and I talked to your lad up on the uh, the uh, oh, did you know? we did he's very excited yeah he's uh, he's only been in a cart about five or six times so we'll see how he gets on and in terms of your your role here today, how's things going in terms of preparation for today? What, as a dad or as a staff? As either. As a dad, I've been just kind of telling him to get on with it and enjoy himself. It's just, the minute he stops enjoying it, the minute he stop, stops doing it. So, as a member of staff, I'm just looking forward to seeing the juniors race because they're a lot better than the lightweights and the heavyweights that we have in the seniors. That's a controversial statement. I don't disagree with it, but that's a controversial <laughs> statement. Um, obviously, you're, you're clerk of the course for, uh, for, for those guys. It, obviously, for obvious reasons, not today. How does that role play into things, and what, what do you look behind the scenes? Um, as a clerk of the course, I enjoy watching racing. I don't like the processions that we used to have, but at the same time, it's, you get difference of abilities, unfortunately. That, and uh, it's their egos. Egos are the problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Good stuff. Right. Cheers, Barnaby. Right. Thanks for talking to us. Historic moment, this. Now, you'll be obviously watching this at the lunchtime, but the carts have just fired up for the first ever competitive session in the Club 100 Cadet Championship for the practice qualifying to uh, get these drivers up and running here today. And we'll just have a quick watch of them all heading out on circuit. There goes Luca, who we chatted to earlier. Just making sure that all of the our young drivers. John, describe th this moment. This is, this is quite a special time to see these new drivers going out on circuit for the first time in a formal round of this championship. It's going to feel amazing. Obviously, they're going to be quite nervous, but that nervous is always good. I feel like if you're not nervous, then that's not right. You need a bit of nervousness to bring out that excitement. And then once they're out there, they're going to forget about all that and they're just going to be loving it. I can, I can, I can imagine it. Thinking back to your first, obviously not as a cadet, it will have been in BUKC. As you were heading out on circuit, what was going through your mind? Well, as I headed out, I went, oh, this is going to be fun. And then I pressed the throttle and I went, oh, my goodness, this thing's pretty quick. Because <laughs> I, when I started, my first ever one was in the TKMs, and they were ridiculously rapid. Then when we moved to road taxes, those were a bit more manageable when you yeah. start up with those. But yeah, when I went out on the TKM, oh, my goodness, it was uh, an interesting moment, but it got me hooked from, from day one. Which circuit was it? I think it was here, you know. I'm pretty sure I did a test session here. So it was great. I, I echo the sentiments. My first was at Landau, or Landau's, I should say. I went out, I span on lap one under a yellow flag, so that went well. Uh, so all the carts now heading out. So there's Dante going out and doing his roles in, uh, in testing. So don't worry, he's not going to go out there. Uh, how many minutes have we got, Luke, remaining? Or we'll keep going, or we'll keep going. We'll go and have a try. I want to talk to some more juniors. We shouldn't forget about, uh, I know we keep talking about the cadets a lot. Uh, and that it's the first time that they're here. But I don't want to uh, ignore the juniors because it's the first time for them. Uh, Make your way over now, get yourselves ready. Numbers, transponders, ballast. So it's get the first, it first time for the juniors going out on circuit. So, in fact, yes, here's a good show of what happens on a Club 100 day as a driver. A session will head out. If you're in the next session, you get called in, and this is the time at which. Everybody prepares the carts, 
gets them to their liking. As I say, a good number of our juniors will have been here last year as well, when the championship was known as the Young Drivers' Championship. We're going to grab a driver here. Hello. Number 40, what's yes. your name and where'd you come from? Here's Constable, and uh, from like South East, Forest Road. Yeah, um, last round I did uh, round one, came 24th out of 52. Um, so this round, I just, because I had a bad car in qualifying, so this round I want to be sort of the top 15 of the A final. I think that would be a good place to be, I think. Yeah. Driven this circuit before? Yeah, so I've done a one test session, that's it. Um, so it'll be interesting. So I might uh, have to, you know, learn the track a bit more. I've still got places to find time, so that's quite good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very different style of circuit, this, to, to Bayford Meadow. Meadow. It's a lot higher speed. Exactly, yeah. So you've got like a lot of hill changes, so like up here, coming downhill. Um, whereas at Bayford, it's all just flat. So it is, I prefer it, honestly. I think it's a much better track because Bayford, it, you, you just get no breaks around Bayford. It's just corner after corner after corner. So this one, you get a little bit more time to relax in the car, I think. And in, in terms of Club 100, what originally attracted you to coming and racing in this championship? Um, well, it was, I, I originally I found success in just doing hire car. Um, I found that I was quite good at it. Um, and I just thought, well, I've got the money. I might as well be just spending it doing something that's a bit bigger, doing different tracks. Um, Super GT, obviously, is yeah. massive, inspired me. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's about it, really. And is, he, is he dad? Yeah, this is dad? Well, let's, let's have a chat with dad, let's see what he thinks. Morning. Uh, any nerves as a dad before a day like today? No, not really, no. No, just hope he enjoys it. Really does the best he can, that's it. Uh, he's never nervous, and I'm not really nervous either. Good stuff. In, ter in terms of his racing, how do you feel that Club 100's building him up? In terms of what, sorry? In terms of his racing and racecraft. Oh, well, he's just learning all the time. He's only been doing it for just over a year. So he's still learning, really. But, um, yeah, there's promising signs there. Good stuff. Well, thanks for talking to us. As I, it's, it's always a really rewarding bit in your first year in Club 100. Um, you learn so much. Uh, I'm going to have a quick chat with Ben Foden, if he doesn't mind. Remember the Alpha Delta? Ben, quick yeah. word with us. Uh, back again, doing yeah. some more racing. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of today? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Last year got third place and then second in the final, so hopefully can do that again this year. So this circuit, what do you what do you think? It's pretty much perfect conditions here today. Yeah, it is really good conditions today. It's really warm. I hope it'll stay like this. No rain, just good. To see the Alpha Delta racing on your shirt, tell us a, tell us a little bit about that and what that is. So Alpha Delta racing is our endurance team. So. I've got my teammate here, Alex Jackson, who's in the grandstands today. He's in the second group for this, so we do endurance races. We've won the, la the last few six hours at Milton Keynes and the um, three hours at Tamworth as well. So we've done a lot. To ask two questions, what, when you, we're in this form of racing, this more sprint style racing, what's, what's transferable in terms of skill set between that and the, uh, and the endurance? So in, in endurance, you've just got to be consistent. You can't go for silly moves. You've got to keep your head. And I think this really helps with this because it means you don't get penalties, you don't drop down the grid, and you do well. So, Good stuff. Well, are you hoping for uh, another top three today? Yeah, hopefully. Good stuff. Cheers for talking to us, Ben. Uh, we'll catch him in a bit. I say the Alpha Delta rating, guys, very, very good. Uh, time is just coming up to 22.10. And uh, I think we'll probably wrap up there. We'll wrap up there. You've John. had some pretty long chats, mate. I think that's I think that's good. You've had some long chats with a lot of people. So right, it's, been, it's been a good good paddock walker feel. And uh, yeah, really good to talk to some of the drivers. Hope you've enjoyed it. First time we've done one of these for, for Club 100. Uh, but really good feel here down in the paddock. We'll now go back to the present time. Thank you for joining us and keep it locked here on Alpha Live. <laughs>